Hey everyone, and welcome to Business and Data Analysis with SQL. My name is Jeff Devitt, and for the last 20 years I've been analysing data of all shapes and sizes, and felt it was a good time that I shared some of my knowledge and experiences of being a data and business analyst with you here today in this course. It's no secret that data has become a key component for driving many businesses as it touches just about every aspect of our working and personal lives on a daily basis. Be it from your smartphone that contains numerous instruments for capturing what you're doing, such as your GPS-enabled camera, to posting on social media, to even the adverts we see when shopping online. When I first began developing reports and dashboards some 20 years ago, a standard report might have taken me at least a month or two to develop. This would entail many review meetings with the business, and development was cumbersome due to the lack of tools and processing power of computers at the time. Fast forward to today, and the same projects can be achieved in days, if not hours, and even in some cases, I've been able to produce reports during an initial kickoff meeting with the business. Basically, as computers have increased in power, to the point where we can now process data in real time, we see new fields such as data science emerging that present new challenges for businesses, such as natural language processing used in devices like Alexa and Cortana, which can understand our questions we ask them, to image processing and neural networks used in the likes of driverless cars and shopping recommender systems that you find on platforms such as Amazon and Facebook. Reporting tools have pretty much become commonplace in most organizations, and not just limited to data analysis. In fact, the last number of years I've worked as a business intelligence manager, my role has been to help teams set up self-service data platforms that allow business users to pick and choose what data they want to view in a report. As a data business analyst, your responsibility is not just to build reports, but to also tell a story that provides insight for a user. In other words, you are really acting as a consultant to the data warehouse to identify for a business just what data is readily available for them to analyze and to make connections between new data sources that are coming into a data warehouse with existing data sources. Data really is key to driving any business and in today's markets, having an insightful report can be the difference of make or break for a business. So let's get down to business. What will you learn from this course? I've structured the course into three parts. First, we will get to grips with some of the basic concepts of database and data warehouse design. Knowing how your data is sourced and stored plays a large part of any data project. And typically with large data projects, you may find yourself working with multiple source systems, such as customer demographic data, financial transactions, fraud systems, customer support, marketing systems, Internet of Things, and so on. Having a good understanding of how all this data is captured, processed, and then stored will make your projects run a lot smoother. In time, as you build up an intimate knowledge of the systems you and your business are utilizing, you are likely to become the go-to analyst and subject matter expert for many teams. Next, we will learn how to write SQL code, which is the standard programming language used to query data from a database or data warehouse. Don't worry if you don't have a programming background, as I will start from the basics and work through many examples to get you up to speed with writing your own SQL queries. What I can say about SQL code is in all the years that I've been working with databases, SQL code has changed very little and typically only requires that you know a handful of statements. I will walk you through the process I use on a daily basis for coding and debugging queries. Once you've got to grips with the fundamentals of SQL, this will set you up to work with just about any relational database or data warehouse in the market today. 
Once we have built our queries and captured our data, I will then show you how you can create a report and automate your report to be delivered to your team on a recurring scheduled basis. And finally, I will also provide you with some of the soft skills I've developed to help you with project management and requirement solicitation to ensure that you manage and deliver your projects on time. I hope you enjoy this course as much as I've enjoyed writing it. And please, if you have any questions, be sure to post your comments and remarks in the feedback area, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. So let's get started by first getting you set up with your own database development environment, which we will be referring to when we start writing our SQL code. That's all for this section, and I'll see you in the next section.